Okay, welcome to the Care Collab Bratonia Shiloh Tolkien. Yes. Uh, okay, first off, um, this is a collab video with um, Nina from Ninja Rockets from Spain, um, Fernanda from Fernanda Nascimento's Orchids and Succulents from Portugal and Roger from Roger's Orchids from the UK in the south yes and so um, I'm not going to bore you with the details of where it comes from and its lineage because there are way more uh, knowable people than I am but I can show you, uh, can I show you that? Yes, I can show you um, the two plants that have been used to create this one and let me get them for you. Here is a Brassia, which is one of the parents and I don't know which is which, seed or pollen and this is a Miltonia, this is a Miltonia sunset, and these two plants have been used as parents. Yeah, that's a nice bush. <laughs> um, yeah, all three next to each other. Um, you can see that Brassias have a very long and slender lip and very spidery petals and sepals. The Miltonia has a very broad lip and very broad stocky sepals and petals. And you can see that in the flowers of the Bratonia. It has an elongated broader lip than the Brassia and it has the stocky petals and sepals of the Miltonia. Yeah. Now please don't uh, come up with, yeah, but it's this and it's this. This is close enough. Um, yeah, I'm not going to tell you where it comes from because I didn't do much studying, so I really don't know. Probably South America. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds right, but I could be wrong. Um, how I care for it? Well, um, it's drinking at the moment, and it hasn't had for, a, well, four or five days, and that's one of the pros of this orchid. It is very hardy. It can go without food and water for at least a week and there's not much showing on the orchid itself. <clears throat> nice and plump, everything. So, it's very forgiving. Um, it can take full sunlight and it seems to like it. I can't give that here, it was in my previous grow room. Um, <coughs> yeah, yeah. Hold that train of thought. Um, I usually let it dry out in between waterings and this one gets every third day. Yeah. I don't feed it very much always low and yeah it grows really vigorous and that's one of the cons it's a crawler it likes to creep out of the pot and if I'm correct the other three Nin Nina and Fernanda and Roger have the, the same orchid in pots so let's see what they have to say about its behavior um, 
I mounted it because I like mounts and for some reason all my Oncidium types perform really really well on mounts and this is not the biggest one I have much much larger I have a bigger C-Log but that's uh, a Brasia anything else uh, it is fragrant and depending on the time of day and the temperature it smells um, a bit like black pepper or mm, a not so pretty sweet smell <coughs> and there's another thing I told you they were tough and forgiving but I have something else uh, when I got this one it looked like this that's all and I still have that ball but it's a big one in the back <coughs> and it flowered the first year it flowered the second year and it flowered the third year and last year I had four spikes on that one with 16 flowers in total I'm not sure if it makes more than four flowers per stalk but yeah I'm pretty pleased with this one so I hope I didn't forget anything I probably did but I will tag that on the end okay seven minutes for a care video should be enough later I knew there was a bit on the end um, what's who is raining my cats are outside hold up well they're going to get wet uh, Pip doesn't mind getting wet but Molly does she has a, a thick fluffy undercoat which sucks up water like a sponge uh, yes a bit on the end um, we all four of us grow very different uh, Nina and Fernanda grow outside and inside Roger grows inside but he has natural light and I grow inside as well but I don't have very much natural light <coughs> I don't have um, what didn't I have well yeah uh, <coughs> I grow under, natu uh, under artificial light and this one is perfectly happy in doing so yeah it eats the flowers as you can see that this bud doesn't want to come I really wanted it to be fully open but okay uh, this is really the end yeah I can't think of anything else okay later hello and welcome to the second bit on the end <laughs> I forgot something um, there are my lights those are 18 watts L, uh, LED lights it sounds very very low but everything is growing and I forgot to mention temperatures and humidity um, I work with that and I turn that on early in the morning when I turn on the lights and let the temperature go up to 22 then turn it off and let it cool down during the day until it's 20 and then at night it drops another degree um, I keep humidity at 80% usually sometimes a little bit lower but never more than 70 uh, less than 70 okay second bit on the end a care clap video later